Hi, my name is David McClellan. I'm the Nestle Distribution Centre Manager at the Arndell Park facility in Western Sydney. What you see is that our new installation of the layer picker. The layer picker is a project that we've had in mind for a long period of time. The primary objectives of this project were to drive a much improved safety environment for our people, to reduce cost and to improve our quality of service to our customers. The distribution centre here, we produce and uh, deliver to our customers full pallets of stock. Uh, that represents around about 80% of our volume. We, the remaining 20% of our uh, volume gets picked through the layer picker and through voice picking. At Arndell Park, we used to manually handle around about 5 million cases per year using a storeman to transfer it from the Nestle pallet onto the customer pallet. The technology that we've implemented here has enabled us to remove 4 million of those cases from being manually handled to be automatically handled. So this is the start of the process. Basically we induct pallets from the buffer area here into the induction point. The pallets are then fed through into the system. The operator is directed to remove a certain number of layers of stretch wrap from the donor pallet prior to it actually being fed into the robot to be picked. Stock is uh, fed into the module. Um, it has two options. One, it would be fed to the robot for, for immediate picking or it would be fed to an interim buffer position. The required layer is picked from the donor pallet onto the customer pallet. Uh, and that customer pallet is continued to be built from various different donor pallets. So when the stock is no longer required, it exits the module and it's returned to the buffer storage until the next day's run. This is a, uh, this is a four axis robot, which means that essentially the, the head is going to stay parallel to the, to the uh, conveyor system at all times. The actual head that is picking up the layers is designed with a, uh, a vacuum system and a set of bellows. The bellows will close around the, uh, the product, forming a seal, and then the vacuum system, which is very low pressure vacuum system, puts just enough pressure to pick up the product. So the, the bellows are not actually applying any pressure from the sides. All of the picking up is done with the vacuum of the system. That then moves around, can put it down. The innovative thing about uh, this particular kind of head is that it's able to pick up almost anything. Even if there's a hole in the uh, pattern of product on the, uh, on the layer, this particular layer picking head is able to turn off the vacuum over that hole so that it only, uh, it's only putting vacuum on the product itself. It's not just cartons, this will also pick up, uh, it's picking up bags of dog food, bags of oats, cans of Milo, cans of coffee, bottles of sauce, cans of dog food, boxes of noodles. Essentially, it's, it's picking up over 95% of the range of Nestle's products in Australia. The system has four order positions which allows us to build four orders concurrently. In this system we've got, we've got four locations that the robot can pick to. Uh, one of those stations also doubles as an empty pallet station so that some of the orders will have a, an empty pallet between layers of product because that's what some of the customers require and the robot will pick that empty pallet from the conveyor, put it on top of the product and then put more product back on top of that. So any, any orders that aren't completed by the layer picker uh, will be discharged from the system onto a pallet which we apply a license plate to and that pallet will then go through to our voice pickers to complete the rest of that pallet for the customer order. So after all of the layer picking and voice picking has been completed, the pallets come through automatically stretch wrapped, automatically labelled to the end of the line. From the end of the line, the forklift drivers are directed to, to pick up that pallet and take that to the staging area ready for dispatch. The software that runs this system is based on our free pick maximizer algorithm. So essentially what that does is it takes a download of orders from the Nestle host system, it then matches those together in the most efficient possible way and builds a sequence of pallets that needs to come into the system but it also then
build those in groups and clusters so that the robot is able to, to pick efficiently so that we can bring a one pallet of product in and we can use as much of that product at the one time as possible that may be going to three or four different customer orders. The other nice thing about the, the free pick maximizer algorithm is that it allows for some pallets that have come in as uh, product pallets and we've taken some layers off, the algorithm will identify if, if we've got a certain number of layers left that can now become the base of a new order. So that then moves across into the order side of the system and then we can move other layers of other product on, on top of that. It means that the robot doesn't have to touch somewhere between 20 and 30 percent of the cartons that come through. The advantage of this is that it then means that we can get far higher effective rates out of the robot than the robot is mechanically capable of doing. So we end up with somewhere close to 120 percent efficiency of the actual mechanical system. So certainly from a cost perspective, the project had approximately three year payback. Uh, so we we're able to drive cost out of our picking operation, improve our transport utilisation, reduce our credit returns. Uh, so overall, uh, a good saving for the site. The, the major benefits for the project for us was to reduce our safety risk, uh, to improve cost and improve the quality of our service. So from a safety perspective, it's really about trying to drive the manual handling risk out of our operation. We picked 5 million cases a year and through the implementation of the layer picking and voice pick, we've uh, eliminated 4 million case picks. We've removed um, cost out of the operation through driving some automation into the operation and it certainly improved quality through uh, check weighing of pallets to ensure that the pickers have picked the correct quantity of stock. One of the other benefits of implementing the layer picker is that we're able to produce nice flat topped pallets which helped us improve our truck utilisation as well. So one of the um, other great things for us is to see the engagement with the employees on site, just having some new operations, some new technology to operate. It's been a really positive thing for the whole site. So whilst there was a significant cost benefit for us, the main driver for the project was to improve our safety.